From the Barn Room, a new video production on Zuberon's Annunciation, narrated by Audrey Lang. The Annunciation by Zuberon depicts the scene of Mary's fiat. It symbolizes how the creation of Jesus unveiled the new temple of God to humanity through its colors, objects, and scenery. The first aspect of the painting that symbolizes the unveiling of the new temple through Mary is the distinct colors around Mary and the angel. Most notably, Mary is depicted wearing contrasting blue and red cloth. The blue cloth symbolizes heaven and how through Mary, humanity can be saved and enter heaven. The con contrasting red symbolizes martyrdom, referring to Mary's willingness to suffer with Jesus according to God's will. Next to Mary is a dark green tablecloth, green commonly symbolizing fertility. Green is also seen in the sash around the angel, showing how Mary will bear the child of God. Additionally, the red curtain situated above Mary correlates to the red cloth around Mary. This links Mary's suffering, symbolized through her red dress, to the red curtain which is pulled back to show the new kingdom of God. And the veil here, the, the curtain here, obviously an image of the veil of the temple, and that itself an image of the separation between man and God, the separation caused by sin, death, mortality, all those things which separate one from the fullness of life himself, who is God. Um, so Mary then, through her fiat, she takes unto herself the one who is fully God and fully man, the one who in his manhood will suffer death, will take death unto himself, but in his divinity will then overcome that death. The distinct colors in the painting show how Mary's willingness led to the creation of Jesus and the unveiling of the new temple of God to humanity. The second aspect of the painting that symbolizes the new temple's unveiling is the objects and layout. In the painting, Mary is placed a step higher than the angel, showing her importance and eminence, as she will bear the Son of God. The daisies in the bottom right corner of the painting signify her purity and abstinence from sin. In the background, the open door suggests hospitality and, with the image of the angels above, foreshadows how Jesus will open the doors of heaven. Additionally, the painting's layout illuminates Mary with the light shining on her face as the dove of the Holy Spirit seems to be flying to her. In contrast, the angel's face is shadowed as he kneels in reverence. The importance of Mary is shown through his gesture of respect. In addition to the light from heaven shining on her face, the layout and objects of the painting point to Mary's significance and show how, through the creation of Jesus, the new temple of God was unveiled to humanity. The third aspect of the painting that symbolizes the unveiling of the new temple is the scenery. The red curtain in the top right of the painting is pulled back, showing the light of the Holy Spirit and the angels looking upon Mary. This represents the Holy Spirit guiding the angels to her. It is only through Mary's fiat that the cornerstone of the new temple, Jesus, is born into the world. As written in the Bible, So then you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built into it for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. This scenery re represents how Mary's willingness to accept God's will allowed Jesus to be born, leading to the curtain between heaven and earth being drawn away and the new temple of God being unveiled to humanity. <laughs>